What's up, Money Geeks? Uh, Mr. V here. Welcome to another video, guys. Um, so, in today's video, we are going to take a look at um, Good RX. Um, so, this is an IPO that's supposed to go out, I think, on the 23rd of September. And um, yeah, so I just going to want to take a look at them and see uh, what this is. Uh, maybe if it's a buy or maybe it's a wait and see what happens after the IPO goes live um under on the nasdaq so uh before we get started guys if you're new to the channel we talk about how to earn money how to save money how to invest and build wealth so if that's something that interests you go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content so um this is as you can see here this is a company that really uh thrives in helping people uh, with uh, their healthcare issues. So now uh, when I say healthcare issues, I'm talking about more so from um, a health uh, um, insurance and prescription perspective. So they provide uh, coupons that you can actually use to really assist you in uh, reducing your healthcare costs. So now uh, if you go to their website, you can search for coupons. Um, and you can see here, it says you can uh, save up to about 80% of you know, your prescription uh, um, of your prescription by using your coupons and so this is how it's work this whole thing works so go to their website uh, you find a free uh, coupon um, and again the one thing that it says here is that you can use it uh, it works virtually every um, every um, where in the US so which is good because you have pharmacies across the countries and if you get um, sick somewhere across the country you don't have to wait to go back to your local pharmacy you can go to any pharmacy and just present your coupon and still able to pick up your prescription which is great so um, yeah and this company I mean they feature they've been featured in like if you can see here Bloomberg business inside in um, CNBC all these other places so they have uh, some sort of a good reputation um, so again stuff that people are saying here so let's take a look at ticket symbol so um, again uh, based on our no we board this uh, IPO is going out tomorrow ticket symbol is GDRX um, so if you can you can type that in in, in your search um, and Weibo, you can definitely see GDRX, uh, and then you can just bookmark it so that as soon as it starts trading, um, you can definitely um, buy it if, you, if you're interested in um, getting this particular um, uh, IPO. So, yeah, so that's uh, basically what we want to look there. And then, so I want to take a look here real quick at their SEC filing um, that kind of went out too. So, um uh, and so this is the first thing that when i look at it uh let's see scroll back up here to the top um all right so here we are um so right now um i don't see any particular price for their um for their uh, shares let me see maybe it's here um nothing so there's no listed price just yet for for the shares um so this is interesting because I've actually seen um, a, a few companies go public now that they don't really want to propose um, an actual price per share. Um, so this is crazy. So they, I, I mean, you're allowing the market to determine what that price is going to be. So um, it's a risk, but hey, at the same time, if people love your product, they're going to go for it. So um just kind of look at so this is one of the things that i looked at that i thought was interesting so um it talks about like the number one um that's most downloaded medicare app that's really really good i mean if you can be number one in the medical space um that's huge because not only are you being used by uh um you know younger people you're being used by older people i mean pretty much uh, across the spectrum they you're being used so that's something that it really interests me and the next thing that i looked at too here was that they have 4.9 uh, million uh, monthly active consumers that is huge 
um, to get 4.9 million active consumers. That is not even uh, um, anything in terms of the number of people. So just imagine that if more people, uh, this is the market uh, cap was, let's say, 100%, and they can only get about 25% of that market cap, they would be sitting pretty good. Uh, and then the other thing to mention here is 80% are, are repeat activities. So people use their 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 you know their, their app, um, maybe find coupons and go buy medications and get prescriptions, and then they come back, which is great. So again, here they're talking about how they've saved um, uh, two was that 20 billion plus for consumers, which is good. Um, so b bottom line is that you now the, the the business model is something that. Uh, makes sense. I like the fact that it doesn't have a ton of overhead. Um, basically, you're, you're producing coupons and everything. My only um, uh, fear here is what stops um, another a company from coming up with the same thing? Because what do you have here that you can say it's um, strictly yours? Um, the data on the need, everything. I mean, Granted, the, the customers that you have, the reputation that you have, means a lot. But uh, competition-wise, what stops another company from from scooping in and really taking a bite at your apple, in per se? So that's my only fear. But uh, based on what I've read, uh, just kind of, uh, uh, read so far, and being able to look at uh, uh, some of the things that people are talking about. I think the company has you know, a space uh, in healthcare space because people want to save money. Uh, healthcare is not cheap; it's pretty expensive. So, from doctor visits to you know medications and prescriptions, and so you you find every way that you can possibly can to save. Um, if saving on prescription is one of them, like I said here, you're saving about eighty percent off of your prescription. Then, I mean, by all means. Um, do it. So I think that's why people are really looking at it and uh, just being interested in this in this in this particular uh, stack. So I think it's a it's a great opportunity. Um, and again, these guys are really looking at raising about nine hundred million dollars uh, for you know this IPO. Who knows um, if they can it can hit that number? But it's a it's a it's a good thing for them if they can if they can get to that point. So. Um, so this, again, like I said, uh, GoodRx um, has developed an online consumer platform that really aggregates uh, pricing for prescription drugs from sources um, and just, kind of just spanning uh, the healthcare industry. So um, if you can, again, get into the healthcare space and have that reputation where people can trust you, that you can help them save uh, on their uh, prescription costs, you are in business. So, um, so in this case, I'm going to use the ticket symbol here. So, GDRX, um, you know, is growing revenue and net profit um, uh, impressively so far. As you can see here on this on this balance sheet here. Um, so, they for the most part they're operating and they get they have like free cash that is just there for them to use to kind of expand. Um, so, uh, all in all, again, in my personal take, this is a company that has. Uh, tremendous amount of potential. So right now, majority of their revenue comes from um, advertising, and they are looking for ways to actually, um, uh, you know, diversify their revenue. If they can do that, I think they'll be uh, in good shape and just uh, continue to grow. So um, again, this IPO, I think uh, to start with, I don't know how it's going to come out of the gate, how it's going to behave, uh, but my personal um, observation here is that I'm going to keep a close eye, watch what happens as soon as it, it gets out of the gate. Um, I don't intend to buy and hold long term. I intend to just watch and see if I can day trade it. I would definitely jump in and day trade it um, and then wait for some sort of a pullback because that's what usually happens with a lot of these IPOs. They come out of the gate and just spike and then uh, next thing you know, 
they hit some some sort of resistance and then start pulling back so i'm gonna trade it uh, day trade it and then wait for that pullback and then see uh maybe if i can pick up a few shares for um holding long term because uh again this is an up and coming company so um i want to see where they go again if they can find ways to diversify their um their revenue source that would be great away just from doing advertising so um that's it for this video um i think um i'm really excited again just to kind of see where this goes so uh let me know in the comment section what do you think about uh this particular company do you have you used them again uh one of my rules of investing is invest in something that you know have you used this company for your prescription if you use them to save money uh, let me know in the comment section and if not are you going to be buying this uh this particular ipo um, or what's your take on it again let me know in the comment section if you're new to the channel we talk about how to earn money how to save money how to invest and build wealth so if that's something that interests you again don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content and if you are just looking to get started with investing webo is currently doing a promotion where you get uh, a free stock for signing up and depositing a hundred dollars um and the free stock is somewhere between 250 and uh sixteen hundred dollars so definitely check the links in the description for that and as always guys stay motivated